If you haven't checked Adobe Captivate 12 for updates lately, you should take a moment and do so. Adobe has released version 12.2. This version is now available as native Apple Silicon. So Mac OS users on M1 and M2 processors should see an, a performance improvement in this version. With software simulations, you can now select or deselect instructions, click boxes, highlight boxes, and input fields, just like how you select or deselect components in any block. You can also download and replace background images and simulations, which is perfect if your simulation wasn't captured correctly the first time. On regular slides, you can now also crop background images, and you can adjust opacity and apply filters like blur or contrast to a background image. Additionally, you can set your background image focal point so the subject of the image remains in frame across desktop, tablet, and mobile displays. Widgets have also been improved. You can now add title, body, and instruction components to all the interactive widgets. This update has also updated themes. You can save a custom theme as your default and delete your unused custom themes to keep your theme management under control. You can now delete unused assets from your project to keep your project size and captivate performance under control. As you may have guessed, I'm on vacation right now, but be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be publishing new videos on these new features and enhancements when I get home. Also, please share this video with your e-learning and Adobe Captivate friends.